over here two tired puppies <laughs> okay so welcome back to the prison frills channel i am super excited what we're going to be getting into today it is going to be a new product line review and it is all the new products most of the new products from the curl smith line so we're going to be going through the super slim prebiotic primer the wash and scrub detox probiotic the postbiotic calming conditioner, which all come in a set, all included in themselves. And then we have the newest additions, which are the weightless air dry cream and the hydro style flexi jelly. So I've got some really fun things to say about this. I cannot wait to get into these, but before we do, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my upcoming curl tutorials. And now we can get into the review. To start out, I did the full wash and go with all Carl Smith products and majority of them, except for one product, are brand new, like I just discussed. So when we talk about the wash day, okay, so wash and condition, I used this set. It is their new detox set. And a lot of you ask a lot of times about like scalp care products, taking off that buildup, especially for when you're looking to start the curly girl method. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you probably know I use the curly girl method as a loose guide in what's good for my curls, but I don't let it necessarily control what I use. Now, if you are really trying to be strict with the curly girl method, this is going to be a great set. Actually, all Curl Smith products are CG friendly. So no problem there. This comes with the super slip prebiotic primer, the wash and scrub detox probiotic, and the postbiotic calming conditioner. So I started out with using those exact things in that exact order in the shower, okay? So the Super Slip Prebiotic Primer. It kind of actually reminded me of Diva Curls Primer, but personally, I didn't think it had as much slip to it in order to detangle my curls. My curls by the end of like day seven, I don't wash my hair but once a week because y'all, you know, it's a lot of work. And I just didn't feel like it was a really a necessary step. What they say is to apply it on wet hair, gently massage it on the scalp. While the prebiotics, prebiotics are working, make your way down to the hair length finger detangling and do not rinse off while you're using the wash and scrub. So, this one, like with Curl Smith's price point, I know the products are more expensive and a lot of you have asked for a review on them and that's why I'm doing this now. But I didn't feel like it was necessarily worth the price point. I will put the price at point up here so you guys know what each products are. The next product is the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. This I really, really enjoyed, okay? So there are a lot of scalp scrubs out there, right? And this one, first off, is in a nice size bottle. So this is the size, like next to my face. It's basically about the same size as my face. It's a good size, okay? So you're getting a lot of product here. So I appreciate that. Can't stand when they charge over $20 for a bottle of that size. Not cool. So this one, I felt like I got a really nice deep scrub. And I also didn't feel like I had any of the little sandy pieces, like, that were residual in my scalp. Sometimes that happens, especially when you have denser hair, that I feel like when I sometimes use a scrub that it, the pieces kind of get stuck in there and then they never wash out. That is not how I felt with this. This I felt like fully washed out. I felt like I got a really nice deep cleanse. This is definitely one I would highly recommend. Very much so. And I would say you could probably use a deep scalp cleanse like this, like once a week, so once a month, depending on how you're feeling about your scalp. So if you have like really itchy scalp and you feel like you get a lot of product filled up regularly, then use this more regularly. If you don't and you feel like, you know, you just know you should do it on a regular occasion, do it once a month. This will last you forever. 
Now with this um, whole set, this detox set, it's all about pre and probiotics. So this is meant to all be used together because it's all meant to like balance each other out. So the prebiotics are nutritive compounds that feed the good bacteria on the scalp and fortify the skin's microbiome. While the probiotics are good bacteria, microorganisms that strengthen skin's natural barrier and control the microbiome. So probiotics, I believe, I'm not a scientist, so, are like the same kind of thing that like, you know, when you have yogurt and it helps keep everything good in your digestive system. Same thing for your type of scalp, okay? Everything needs these good bacteria in order to, all good, all bacteria are not bad bacteria. These are using the good ones to help maintain that scalp health. Now with the scalp, scalp scrub, you are supposed to wash that completely out and then condition. Now, let's talk about this conditioner, y'all. I think it might be one of my all time fave conditioners not kidding and that's hard for me to say i try a lot of conditioners so this one right here is the postbiotic calming conditioner and one of the things that i love so much about this first off was the scent okay it has lavender it has peppermint it is so so relaxing smelling i felt like i was going to the spa so it was fantastic. Now, if you are sensitive to peppermint and you don't like it to be too much, then I wouldn't recommend this for you because it is strong peppermint. I personally, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It felt super refreshing on my scalp. It provided a lot of slip and it felt highly moisturizing. The only thing I would say I don't like about this is I don't like the bottle. I hate these really tiny pumps because Y'all, I got a lot of hair and this little baby pump ain't gonna cut it. So I'm probably gonna just have to take this bad boy off and then just like squirt it into my hand. I wish every single curl company would just take their conditioners and pop them into like a container like this so that I could just scoop it out. It would make my life 10 times easier in the shower, for real. <laughs> or just make them in the big pump size and that's fine too, but these little baby pumps, they just don't cut it. Hey guys, so update from editing Chloe. After I recorded this, <laughs> Ryan, my husband, he actually used that, uh, that conditioner in the shower. <laughs> and he was like, oh my God, why is it like so tingly? <laughs> poor man, poor man. This is why you shouldn't use my curly products without permission, sir. Now with the conditioner, they're using postbiotics. Postbiotics are beneficial extracts produced by good bacteria. They are key to regulating the skin's microbiome. So everything in this whole kit is made to work together. So I'm probably going to do a little more research personally on step one to see how much that really makes a difference in making this whole like world go round on my scalp. The two products that I really truly loved out of this kit were number two and number three. So the scalp detox scrub and the conditioner. Incredible, highly, highly recommend. Now let's move on to the stylers. So both of these are brand new to the Curlsmith line. These were just sent over to me. I wanted to try them out. I actually got to work with Curlsmith on um, helping try out the formulas before they were actually finalized, which was pretty cool. It was a really fun and cool experience and it was really interesting to get to be part of that pre-store experience when the product is getting created and going through that testing side. These are the finalized products and I was very excited to try out to see how different they were from what I had tried originally. So the Weightless Air Dry Cream, okay? So this is, both of these are meant to be used air dry or diffused, okay? So if you are a huge air dry person, these are probably gonna be really good for you because they're extremely lightweight. 
okay? So I love that on like day one, day two, I was able to actually get some really great volume and not feel like my curls were really weighted down, which normally happens on day one, day two. You know, you've stripped any of those like extra oils or any of that extra oomph you've gotten over the past few days when you do a wash. The Weightless Air Dry Cream. This is a leave-in conditioner. So keep in mind, this is not a styler, okay? So it's not meant to add hold, it's meant to add moisture. Easy dry, smooth, soft, and seal cuticles. This smells phenomenal, as do all Curlsmith products. And it really does, I feel like, do exactly what it says. It's weightless, it hydrates, and it does not weigh down. I also really like that when I use this throughout my refreshes this week, I've refreshed twice this week, I do not feel like I have an intense amount of buildup on my hair. A lot of times by day five, today we're on day five, is I feel a little bit crunchy, I feel a little bit dirty. I don't feel like that, honestly, at all. This feels personally like day two to day three hair, not day five hair. So that's saying a lot and that tells me that I can probably easily get to day seven and it still look really good. So that speaks volumes. The Hydro Style Flexi Gel. Okay, so this or Flexi Jelly. This is a styling gel for curly and wavy hair. I do agree that it's going to be very good for wavy waves and curls because it's very, it's like a medium to light hold, I would say. Well, no, I'm not going to say light hold. I'm definitely going to say medium hold because I do think it would ha it provided a nice hold, but I don't think it was enough hold for my curls alone. I have very thick hair and I have a lot of it. So y'all, I need a lot of product in these curls in order to make them last. So I noticed as I was going through the drying process that I was starting to see a little bit more frizz than I like to see on day one. So I went in with one of my Curlsmith gels that I personally love and have been using for years, which is the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. This stuff is absolutely incredible. It's one of their main products, their line that they've had for a long time. And it really is like a like very viscous, jelly, gelatinous type texture. So it provides a stronger hold. Um, and it provides a little bit more of a cast, I would say. When it comes to this Hydro Style Flexi Jelly, I didn't think it provided as much cast. It was actually a very, very soft hold. So when I was done drying, I did not feel a crunch. I personally don't like to feel a crunch. I don't scrunch out the crunch because when I'm diffusing, I'm going like back and forth and back and forth and I'm not really letting my curls set uh, now I just messed up my hair. <laughs> I'm not really letting my curls set a super intense cast. I don't think you actually get as much volume out of your curls by letting them get a cast. I think if you are moving while you're diffusing back and forth, then you're going to actually get a lot more volume, a lot more voluminous, beautiful curls. Um, that's my take on it. If you guys are wanting to check out a diffusing tutorial, I do have one of those on how to get the most volume while also maintaining a lot of definition. So I will put the link up there for that if you want to check it out. These results really are gorgeous, defined. I feel like I have a ton of volume and, um, and really like no buildup at all. And they smell clean, they look good. I have to say I am a big fan of both of these new stylers and I will be including both of them in my routine. If you have thin hair or wavy hair, I would highly recommend you use a combination, a combination of these two products, okay? So if you have a thicker curl, okay, or even maybe thick waves that need a little bit more hold, that's when I would say this is still going to be a great hydrator, okay? Great for moisture. But for the hold, that's where I would say I would recommend using this. And then I would recommend adding this on top of it. You don't need a ton of this though, okay? So a little bit goes a long way. So keep that in mind. We don't want to, because this is a little bit thicker, we don't want to add extra weight to the curls. So just take a little bit of that, add it in on the ends 
or even when you're scrunching in before you diffuse. That's a great way to add that extra hold on your ends of your curls. And I will provide the link down in the description below so you guys can check out any of these at your own leisure. But that is the full review for today. So if you guys have questions or want to say anything about your favorite Curlsmith products, let me know. I would love to hear about it. You can put, pop that down in the description below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, make sure you are here for all of my upcoming curly tutorials and tips. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.